Hello everyone and welcome back to the Range Rover and to the horrific sound that is my rear left brake shoe. One of many things that's going to be getting fixed, thank God, in this series that we're starting today. Now in my last video with this Range Rover you saw the guys at iValle get their hands on it and do a really, really nice deep clean and that has done a lot to help the way that this car feels and to make it feel a little bit closer to how I ultimately want it. However, it's impossible to ignore, like literally impossible to ignore, the uh, well large amount of mechanical um, issues that we currently have with this car. And that's because we haven't really attacked any of them yet until today in this video where we're going to make a good start. So to backtrack to my last video where we talked about the mechanical repairs on this car, I showed you a horrendous quote uh, for about £4,800, I think, to have everything fixed. Although, to be fair, lots of you have sort of kindly told me that actually that is not an awful quote. And after sort of realising a little bit more um, and comparing a little bit more, I realise it is actually, it could be a lot worse. And actually, if I'd bought a, a newer car uh, or one that was more expensive like I was originally going to, well, I might have ended up with a similar bill anyway. So that's all well and good. I was moaning in the last video about the air suspension, um, having that sent off to be fixed for a long while and it coming back and not being fixed. Well, actually it was just a calibration issue. So that was actually fixed and it was a little bit of my mistake uh, not realizing uh, that. So the air suspension is fine. Ever since, that was probably a month ago now at the time of filming this, it has been seamless. I still like a little bit nervous to use it and you don't really need to, but like I say, the air suspension has been working perfectly. But as you can hear, there's some major other issues. So what are we gonna be doing about them then? Well, this is what this video is all about and some amazing news actually, and I have to give props to the garage for doing this. The garage in question from my last video that I sent the car to, to do the quote, do the air suspension work, and I didn't speak too highly of initially, they actually saw my videos on YouTube and to be fair to them, proactively reached out and said, why don't we help you out with the repairs? We want to make the car like new again, do everything on that list and in return, film it so we can put it on our website and also, yeah, document the process on your channel to which of course, I accepted the offer. I thought, well, you know what? This is a great way of um, keeping me happy first and foremost, but of really reducing the cost for me personally of getting this car how I want it and getting it basically mechanically restored. Because let, I'll be honest with you, when I got that bill for about five thousand pounds, I did, I hadn't budgeted that sort of money for this project, um, and so these guys, uh, Richmond Land Rover specialists, are going to be massively helping me out. So to be fair to them, props for reaching out to me. I appreciate it. And today, that's where we're heading off to for the first installment of repairs. Look at this under here, guys. You can see just oil everywhere. A um, little bit of rust there. But yeah, obviously pretty major oil leak going on. Some of that might also be coolant uh, fluid from the leaking radiator, which will be getting repaired at a later date. So these are the parts that we're looking at today. We've got the engine oil pan here. I'm told these are all original uh, Land Rover parts, which is cool. Uh, which one's this? I'd have to look at the label. This is the separator pipe. Then we've got the gasket cylinder head covers both sides. So actually not that many components are going into the car today, but it's quite a lot of labor. Lots of you have been asking as well whether I'm gonna get an exhaust for this car. My initial thought was no. However, it looks like it could do with a new sort of system on the back there, doesn't it? I wanna somehow get rid of this as well because I don't think I'm gonna use it, but yeah, maybe, maybe we get a new exhaust for this thing. 
make that V8 sound a little bit better. I'm going to do a few voiceovers throughout this video to help explain what's going on. Filming in a loud workshop isn't always the best environment for audio quality, so I do hope this is okay. The first job then was draining the engine oil, removing the oil pan and giving everything behind it a good clean. The pan will then be replaced later on. Whilst the car was up on the ramp though, I wanted to show you exactly where that horrible noise when driving the car was coming from. That's exactly what I can hear when I'm driving along at the moment. So another thing you will have seen with this car, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you will have seen my headlight here fell out. So I ordered a replacement, this one here, and uh, fitted it myself. However, realizing at that point that the connector is actually completely snapped. So I actually cable tied it. Uh, as a sort of temporary fix, but it would still just sort of fall out at the bottom, which sucks. So hopefully we'll get that sorted as well. And then I'll have a headlight that I'd have to put in every time I drive the car. Also, because loads of the work that's gonna be going on now is in the engine bay, obviously these Range Rovers are pretty high up. Um, you can put them in access mode, which lowers it ever so slightly, but even better, just take the wheels off and lower it right down uh, on the ramp. So once the pan was cleaned, the work on replacing the rocker cover gaskets could begin. Getting to the rocker cover gaskets involves a fair amount of labour based on how much needs to be removed. The engine cover, coil packs and rocker covers themselves all need to be taken off. If you saw my last video on this car, you would have seen that the I Valet guys, at the <laughs> right at the end, they convinced me that drilling a hole in these lights would be a great way of solving the water issue with these rear lights that sort of just collect up to about this level here. And actually, I don't know how much to this point they were taking the mick out of me or not, but it seems to have worked. And there is no water in them, and they're not condensated over, and they look good actually. Same goes for this side, although there is some dirt at the bottom here, which probably needs, I don't know, cleaning out of some way, but all joking aside, it seems to have actually made a difference, especially on this side, because it's looking as good as new now. So the rocker cover gaskets have been replaced on both sides. This side is done. Um, I'm told this is actually the more difficult side to start with because there's actually the, the oil dipstick here and that gets in the way of taking this out and also putting it back in. It looked like quite a job. As you can see, this side has now been taken off the rocker cover. That's in there getting cleaned at the moment and the gaskets have come off. And you can see, as with the first side that was sorted, these are leaking profusely. I mean, they're absolutely uh, just, you know, in bits. Um, could literally pull that apart with one finger. So yeah, the new gaskets are gonna be put onto that and then it will be replaced on that side as well. And then also getting replaced is the oil breather pipe because that gets clogged up and it's a good thing to replace. So that's getting sorted as well. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Richmond Land Rover Specialist for firstly 
agreeing to do this work on my L322, but also for letting me film it because it makes interesting content for you guys. This was of course the first episode, so I was getting to grips with exactly what I could film, what I need to talk about, but please let me know what you'd like to see in more detail in the future repair episodes. We've got a fair few things to do from suspension components to coolant leaks, so I'd imagine there's going to be at least another two. In the meanwhile, do subscribe to the channel because right now I'm actually in Scotland working with Richmond Land Rover specialists in an L405 on something rather special. So do stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Please do give this video a thumbs up. And like I say, I welcome any and all feedback in the comments below. I'm very, very, very excited to finally be getting my L322 up to scratch. And honestly, I cannot wait until it's all done and we can start making some proper content with it. Thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon.